Hi there. Today I'm not in the fields or, or in the forests. I'm in my backyard where I do a lot of container gardening. And this is a perfect opportunity to show those who are not aware of the differences between purslane and spurge. Many people have concerns, as they should be, because you do not want to get one plant mixed up with the other because it can ultimately cause you to have very bad stomach pains and ultimately perhaps a trip to the eMERGE. Purslane, very easy to identify at this stage of the game because you can see the yellow flowers coming. Purslane is a succulent. It's a portulaca. So the leaves are succulent. Look at those stems. And the stems are smooth. There is no hair on them at all. Same with the leaves. They are without hair. Now, I have lots of links to purslane below. Here is the spurge. I'm trying to do that so there's no shadow. There we go. This is spurge that many people get it confused with. Spurge has white flowers. The leaves are flat. They have tiny hairs. And the stem definitely has a lot of hairs on it. So when you see them side by side like this, you can tell very easily which is safe to eat, which is not. Now, the spurge, let me see if I can uh, do this. When you snap the stem, look at that. You've got the milky, milky sap there. That comes out of the stems of the spurge. Purslane does not have that. Snap one of the purslanes. There's nothing. So purslane, hairy spurge. Now you know the difference between the two. But while I'm at it, I'm going to throw in a third one, which can be confusing. Let's look over here. This is the oak foot goose foot. It's in the Kenopodium family, and those leaves are edible. Now, I won't spend too much time on this plant, but I will put the link below so you can follow up on that yourself, should you choose to. And the pictures on my website are by far more superior than what I'm zooming in on now. So there you go. Container gardening has its advantages. It's great for teaching between what's good and nutritious and what can take you down for quite a while. Thank you for watching.